Hello and welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us. Today we're going to present you a nice good old 1997 Safari Track Model 2480 Track Pathmaker. It's about 26, 27 feet long. We just acquired it from a big RV dealership Camping World and it was a trading in over there so it's not a repo. Windshields are free from any cracks or star cracks I can see. Uh, engine compartment is in really, really good shape. Uh, it's a California motorhome originally. I just saw some paperwork and then it ended up in North Carolina and I was in South Carolina. Uh, about 96,000 miles. Just a little bit of a road rock chips in the front. Other than that, it's in good shape. Got a few other flaws. The purpose of this video is to show you all good and bad, okay? Uh, window are good. The windows are good. No fogs. Uh, cherry riveted, beautiful aluminum exterior take a look at this it's nice the other side we've got a couple of scratches but this side is really nice uh, i got an awning on top of the uh, window continental tires date codes are 12 or 14 that means uh it could be manufacturing uh, it was manufactured 12th week of 2014 could be installed sometime uh, mid 14 or or late 14 12th week it's like end of march or something april so could be installed in 14 or 15 uh, they're about three, four years old. No worries on tires. They're all consistent. They're continental tires all the way around. 4,000 watt generator, about 960 hours. Uh, we'll verify it inside. Lots of storage. Even though it's a 26, uh, 26 feet long, 2480, I think it's a. Oh. And each and every door has a little latch. You can keep it on top. Check this out. 50 amp power cord. I know you probably would think that it's got a 4,000 watt generator, but you got big 50 amp power cord. That's really plus. You got a story that kind of goes on top of it too, on top of the railing and goes pass through. Got a nice little inverter and that works. Uh, it, it, it puts the electric bed up and down. So once again, continental tires. Uh, mufflers, little squeeze. You can put a nice little um, chrome tailpipe if you want to you know i just nitpick it a little bit got a little it says something about burn something woods.com and maybe a church or something i don't know uh you could take it off or it just comes with it <laughs> i can have all right uh this is your wet bay you can turn off and on a little uh, water manifold back there it's got water in it these are your sewer and gray water discharge on the bottom let's open this up and see what it shows here oh that's your water tank gray gray and black water tank come around the back we got a little bit of a fiberglass uh you know a little damage nice little look like a siberian tiger wow i love one thing about safari they hide two other animal in here let me see if i can find at least one maybe i can't maybe th this would be a nice puzzle once you buy it. there'll be two other uh, it could be mice or butterfly or something in it uh, that's safari does that over here let's see what we have some storage uh, indeed yep nice little storage you can put your antifreeze oil whatever hoses sewer hose whatever it kind of goes deep in that way too oh by the way it does have a hydraulic leveling jacks and they work that they work they got a one in the front and two on the side and that's that's a huge plus on a little motorhome so if you're camping in the uh, mountains or somewhere where the campsites are uneven or even if they're level you can put your uh, jacks down so it'll be a stable motorhome when you walk in and out it won't shake you have about a four or five thousand pound towing capacity with a regular seven pin hookup so you can tow a car or a car dolly um, another little body damage here i mean i've got a body shop guy can probably paint this thing and take care of all the little stuff could cost a few hundred bucks uh aluminum has a little scratch right there uh, let's see what's in here probably some more storage hmm. wow maybe we could keep showing them There we go. Oh man, it was just stuck. So that's a fresh water tank here and uh, a little bit of storage on each side. Uh, good storage up here. It was this weather stripping catching it really good. All right, we got it open. 
a little bit of Road Rock chips on the bottom part here. Continental tires, again, they are consistent all the way around. So the previous owner changed them all six tires at one time. And that tells you uh, 12. 01 up 12, some are 12 up 12. I mean, wait a minute. So somewhere in the front was 14. Come close with the light, please. Oh, 14. 01 up 14. Boy, it almost threw me off. So they are all manufactured in uh, sometime in 2014. So three, four years old. Looks like the owner have visited all these countries. How about that? Just missing a uh, couple of states. Uh, North Dakota and uh, what is this right here next to Iowa. Hmm. Good. My daughter has a better geography. Iowa and just in uh, Alberta, I think Alberta, something, Saskatchewan, something there. Two, two provinces of uh, Canada and two states of United States are missing. They've been everywhere. How about that? That's a nice thing too. So this motorhome is not shy of a road. It's been around. Got a nice fabric awning, original awning. And that tells you right there, when you see cheaper trailers or cheaper motorhomes, they have vinyl awnings and you got to change them every few years because they get, uh, they get tattered up, sun damaged. This fabric, uh, like a tarp material, they last a lot longer. That's an original awning. We have a uh, LP gas here. Again, Continental tires. Windows are free from any fogs. I've got little seals uh, going out here. That's typical of old safaris. Uh, I like to just point stuff out. I, I'm not know-it-all. I've been around motorhomes for four, about 17, 18 years. Yeah, something like that, 2001, 2002. So, you know, I don't know a whole lot, but I know a few by selling, you know, a few thousand motorhomes in the last 17 years. But, um, so storage goes past through, you see it? Nice uh, fiberglass. Some of the lights are not working here. So, you know, this is an old motorhome. We drove it from Charleston to, from uh, coastal part of South Carolina to here in Greenville and upstate, drives good. We did a uh, manifold gasket and oil change. That's all we've done and we'll put a hardwood floor. You're gonna love it. Knock your socks off how nice it is inside. Power step works, check this out. Laminated hardwood floors throughout the coach. Now back part here in the kitchen and the bathroom, they were already there. Over here, they had a carpet. So let's go in the front and show you. Let's turn some lights on. All right. Sofa seems to be in good shape. No tears or any excessive wear. Uh, by the way, I cannot put a smell in the video. You have to believe me, there's no dog or pet or smoking odor. It's just very, very clean inside. Uh, smell wise, you know, I'll point out some flaws here as we go along. This uh, table opens up and it probably have a extra leaf somewhere. Yep, there are two leaves. So they'll open up and you can put four people to sit down and eat here or just two person. Uh, that sofa opens up in a bed and then you got a bed up on top. It'll come down about right here. So a four person can sleep in this motorhome. All right, let's get up on front right here. Let me show you Got a nice little TV in the front. Let's see. Uh, we don't get into audio video too much, uh, but it's Insignia digital uh, digital TV. Got a backup monitor, but I think I saw a wire is missing, so it may have to be rewired. We could talk about in the price. This is one of our budget motorhome. You could buy it like it is, or if you want to fix it, the, the backup monitor, we could fix it because it, it didn't come on. I saw the wire is like a, not hooked up correctly. All right, fires right up. Got a 96,103 miles. All right, let's see if the radio plays. We're gonna check everything out. It may not, I don't know. Um, okay, it doesn't play, maybe. I have an audio video guy can put a nice backup monitor installed in it, a Bluetooth radio for uh, less than 500 bucks, maybe $600. Five, well, not less than, but around five, 600 bucks, you can have a nice updated radio with a Bluetooth and, and, and you won't need this junk. You'll have a backup monitor right there if you like to do that. Air condition, I haven't figured out it's blowing hot air. It could be uh, uh, sometime the uh, thermostat could be stuck in the heat and you got to put it back on cold. I uh, haven't figured that out. Uh, leveling jacks, you put them on and let's see, we're going to hit front. There it goes. Let's see. 
There you go, lifting up. Uh, left, I'm gonna do the left side. And when we walk out of the coach, I'm gonna show you, they're all down. Pretty fast, they just come up. All right, all the jacks are up. Uh, we got, uh, let's see. Okay, the side view mirrors are not working, but it's here. All right, headlights and all work. The sound you hear right now is the jacks are down. So what I'm gonna do, cut this engine off and we'll just get rid of that sound. Got tilt steering wheel, 454 Chevrolet. Like I said, we just did uh, exhaust manifold and it was right at $1,000. And that sound is for headlights on, so I'm gonna turn the headlights off. Let's see what's up here. Oh, we got an extra drive belt, brand new. That shows you little stuff like this that could tell the previous owner cared for this motorhome. You know, built can throw out on the road. You could be in the middle of Arizona or the middle of a Mississippi, wherever. Oh, by the way, that is the uh, exhaust manifold. I guess they were planning on changing it. I changed it. They were going to, but they didn't. Uh, some RV travel savings guide, and uh, they must have changed some sparkler wires. Uh, that's a receipt that we did it. Uh, $914 with exhaust leak at the engine exhaust manifold. We had to remove the right side exhaust manifold and then we determined that you know, it had two broken bolts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's the receipt goes with it. Oh, there was a light here too. How about that? Okay, so both flax steel leather seats are in pretty good shape. No tears or any big rips or nothing like that. With the 96,000 mile, it's not wore out, as you can tell. All right, got a privacy curtain that comes out, goes around. Uh, so hardwood floors comes up here. We left the old original carpet here, and we took out carpet here and put a hardwood floors. So uh, this electric bed would come down. I'm going to uh, go ahead and see you, buddy. All right, uh, so we gotta come up here and show you. Hey, look at that drink holder here. You know why that is? You probably think why. It's for people that sleep here. Let me show you that, how that works. So it has a button right here. Over here, let's show them. By the way, there's an inverter button. Right now, we're plugged in a 50 amp, so air conditioner is running. But if air conditioner is not running, you just turn an inverter on, and you push this button right here, down. So there it goes. It's coming down. It's called Electro Magic Bed. Let's see if it comes down to the chair or not. Let's see how, how low can it go. You can... Uh-oh, yeah, that one chair in the back has to be moved, and then it'll come down more. So it'll probably come down another four or five inches, but, you know, you can have a, this chair to climb up on. It'll come down another six more inches. So it's an electromagnetic bed or electro bed. Uh, there's some stains up here from previous water intrusion, and they may have put this new wallpapers or wall insert. So we're not, you know, again, the, the, the purpose of this video to show you everything. Uh, you know, we are not know-it-all. Again, it just, uh, we'll just show you everything we know. Uh, you saw the, or oh, you'll see the roof. We're gonna jump up on the roof in just a little bit and show you the roof. A uh, little extension on, kitchen area dual sinks here uh, take a look at this surface is in good shape that means you know water didn't leak out people didn't leave this window open and let the water come in and perforate it I've seen some junk sometimes you only appreciate good motorhome only if you've seen some really junky motorhomes you know by no means this is a perfect motorhome it will never be 1997 that's almost well 22 21 years old uh, three burner gas stove you got lots of door a beautiful wooden uh, cabinet. You know, Safari were not necessarily cheap, cheap motorhomes. So here, the original wood was there. Oh, by the way, let's talk about books. All the owner's manuals are here. And I saw the finance contract when it was sold originally in California. And they got some receipts in North Carolina. And so that's how it came about here. So all the books and records are here. Um, all right, light works. 
So generator hours are 661 hours. That's not a lot of hours. I thought it was 960, but they're 661. We've got a double door refrigerator, Norcold. Uh, let's see. It looks a little newer than 1997. Uh, could be somewhere. Just doesn't look like a 1997. Sometimes they go bad and people put a new one. It'll, it'll have a sticker somewhere. Uh, check my uh, info. Uh, check my. Uh, description i may write that I'll, I'll read it up somewhere it works all right we got a little privacy door all righty so that's how it, you get a little privacy back here in a bathroom area uh come on back here the the wood real wood continues here look like a real nice wood job here someone did all the walls seems to be in good shape in a bedroom area bathroom area a little cracked lens on the light all right medicine cabinets pretty big lots of uh counter space i know what that is that's from the old steps we got new steps i gotta throw that out probably uh oh there we go two more uh, two extra chairs that go for the uh dining area how about that it's a nice coat closet Let's see what that is. Oh, they put some plug. They want a little plug in here. How about that? Oh, 120. Lots of drawers back here. Some storage under here. That's your 120 circuit breaker panel. A nice uh, stand-up shower here. Take a look at it. I mean, you know, you saw. Oh, you're gonna see it up on top when we get up on top. Uh, really nice caulking and it was just recently done all right so uh, we're done inside here let's jump up on top and uh, we may do test drive video we may do it later oh so um, give me a call for any questions 864-404-0054 that's 864-404-0054 I prefer text communication if you can't get a hold of me, my backup number is my daughter's 864-569-5636. Her number is 864-569-5636. Give us a call. We have a clear title in our hand. Being a 1997 uh, financing be a little hard, but we do take trades. And if you wanted financing, you could go through credit unions or some secondary finance companies. Uh, let's get up on top of the roof and show you that, and then uh, we may get on a test drive. Thanks again for watching our video and uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, we're on top of the roof here on this 1997 Safari track. It's about 26, 27 feet long, got a fiberglass roof on top. As you can see, the front seal has recently been sealed. Uh, the air condition look a little later model. I don't know if it's a 1997, looks newer. It's like a low profile air conditioner. You have a max airflow thing so you can open your vent while it's raining outside uh, take a look at this bathroom skylight recently been sealed as well as the back seal and got small little soil panel refrigerator vent looks good so everything looks good up here nice solid fiberglass roof and uh, no worries here all right let's get back down and finish our video all right so we are on the road with in town i'm doing about you know 25 miles an hour 30 it's in traffic runs good uh, as you can see steering wheels they straight is not like pulling left to the right what we're going to do we're going to get on interstate here and get it up to, you know like the highway speed 60 70 miles an hour and give you feedback on it this is a short little motorhome so very easy to drive those folks who never had motorhome um, most of the state don't need a um, any commercial driver's license to drive this it's uh, under 26,000 pounds they do not have air brakes like a diesel pusher uh, some states are now requiring uh, different license for those diesel pushers and stuff um, let's see um, I'll give you a little feedback once we get on the highway here uh, as you can hear the engine uh, doesn't have any um, exhaust leak anymore it did when we drove it from charleston to greenville south carolina uh, now it's much quieter uh, normal v8 454 
big block motor. So, um, let's see. Uh, oh, by the way, he's got an air horn. Listen to this. <laughs> it's got a nice little air horn, kind of like a diesel pusher. We, by the way, uh, coach batteries are in really, really good shape. They look pretty new, fairly new, never give us any trouble. The chassis battery, however, was old. We just replaced a new cranking battery or chassis battery, so it fires right up. Um, let's see, um, we're about to get on interstate here. So hang tight here and we'll tell you how this motor home drives on the highway. Let's see, I think I dodged that Honda Civic. Alrighty, here we go. We are entering highway. Turn signal is working. There we go. I'm going to accelerate and see how it... 40 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. Just got an overdrive, so it's got a four-speed automatic transmission. Let's see. Uh, cruise works. I love that part. So here comes California. Those folks out in California looking for it. Uh, we just put this motorhome on the internet a couple of days ago. And uh, actually, I have a lady in California I keep calling about this motorhome or emailing. So um, it can go to anywhere. Uh, New York, California, Florida. I'm on cruise at 65 miles an hour. And we're going uphill. As you can see, the engine just downshifted uh, because I'm in a cruise. So cruise control works. That's a big benefit. Uh, we're probably going to take an exit right here and give you a feedback, see what what the brake acts like. It, it's driving really good. Uh, as you can see, I'm taking my hands off the steering wheel and it drives just straight. I wouldn't recommend that, but <laughs> don't try it at home. But I was trying to make a point, no, no fighting on the steering wheel, shaking all the way around. It's just very simple to drive. Um, it drives very well, as my son would say, very well. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take this Bridges Road exit here and let me give you feedback on the brakes. So those folks, we sell motorhomes to out of state, out of town. If you would like to have a third party inspection, you're welcome to do so. We are in 29615 zip code, that's 29615. If you find any mechanic, we'll take it there, let them check it out. They're a third party RV tax. They're very busy right now, summer. But they can come check it out, the coach part of it. I'm stopping, brakes feels good, no pulsation or anything. I'm fighting on the brakes, brakes feel smooth, stops as it's supposed to. So this will conclude our video on this 1997 Safari Track Pathmaker, path I think that's what he says outside, model 2480, 96,000 miles, not a perfect motor. We showed some flaws and some good stuff. I believe it's still got a little bit of a light left. Maybe another 100,000 miles, who knows. You take care of it, you get a whole lot of miles out of it, and have fun. And you don't have to spend $100,000 on a motorhome. This would be a good motorhome for you to travel. We don't buy a lot of these older motorhomes, but when we buy a motorhome at big dealerships, sometimes they're a package deal, so we get some of these older motorhomes too. I'm pretty impressed the way it is. It needs a backup monitor, either fix that or put a new radio. So it's got a few other stuff to tell it up. Motorhome is in good shape. It doesn't run hot. It runs pretty good. So, uh, saying that last thing, thank you for watching my long video on this 1997 Safari Track. Give us a call. My number is 864-404-0054. My daughter, Nicole, her number is 864 569 5636. That's 864 
569-5636. Thank you and have a great day.